what's up what's up guys this is the 2013 rpod rp177 so i'll be doing uh winterizing it gain all the water fluid from it so you make sure you first you need some tools you need a socket one and the 116 something like that that kind of tool and some pliers so this tool will go in where the water heater is uh, it's already pre-unscrewed so you just take it out get the water out so a few gallons from there dripping and then yeah my stick this i gotta replace this guy it looks pretty pretty bad so i would just leave it right here so and just always leave leave it open during the winter time and then if you don't need the socket in your tools i just leave it right there and then you can just close it off and it'll drain by itself uh let's see another one that goes you go around and you fit there's a screw right here take it off it should be easy if it's not easy use the pliers and then it comes out and then i it's already out so i just screw it in just a little bit so the bugs don't get in there and it's completely emptied uh, there's also on the same side underneath the wheel behind the wheel I believe <laughs> there's two pipes right here so before you unscrew them you want to go or you can unscrew them but you can go here inside it make sure you open all of your all your faucets See in the bathroom. Also, don't forget to uh, kind of flush it and keep it flushed. Leave it open for a little bit. You have some air coming out, which I did have had before. But uh, yeah, this is it. We're inside. Let's go inside here. I did had to use the pliers here because it was kind of tough to unscrew them. First, this is my first winterizing this guy. So you unscrew it. Should have some water coming out. Same with this pipe. There you go. So you can just leave it maybe over a day. Just put them in a safe place. If you want, you can put them where the water heater is. Just keep them here for a day. Or two and then uh, just close them off so you have completely half the air water drained from your pipes this is it guys and yeah like make sure you fl flush your black water and gray water also before you uh, winterize it so it has empty tanks also you could put um, some smell guys inside the sewage and the uh, black water well switch gray water put you can put some smells in there so it kind of has good smells inside what is it this is all you need for your winterizing it's one of the steps there's actually more to it like uh, some people put with antifreeze inside which I don't I just this is how I do it and it keeps the trailer trailer nice and uh, doesn't damage anything so so now you know where all the plugs are to drain all the water so take care guys hope this will help you to winterize your rpod trailer so take care guys